Our next task is to create the job itself. I'm going to scroll down to the analysis tree. In analysis, you see a jobs container. I'm going to double click on that jobs container and it changes us to the job module. I'm going to name our job loaded barbell stand. The source is the model, not an input file. Input files are different. When you're working in Abacus CAE, you've got this whole interface to help you out. But sometimes in research, and even before this whole pre-processing environment was created for Abacus, you would have to use input files where you type out your instructions, as opposed to generating them by clicking around in this GUI interface. I'm going to click on Continue. And I see the Edit Job window. You can give it a description. And there's a lot of options here. You can set in like memory requirements and a parallelization and stuff like that to help you run your simulation. Maybe your computer is crashing, just doesn't have enough memory. And you could make some changes in the memory tab. Mostly, we're just going to look at the submission tab right here. And I'm going to tell it to go ahead and do a full analysis for the simulation. You do have some other options, such as, for example, a restart job. And this would be if you've already gathered some data using a previous analysis, and you want to restart the analysis from that point using that data. But in our case, we're just going to go with a simple full analysis and click the OK button. And now you see in the jobs container, we have a job created for us. In order to run it, we're going to right click on it. And we're going to say submit. If we said data check, Abacus would try to check through our data and tell us if it thinks the simulation is going to run successfully or not. Maybe it might detect problems with your meshing. In fact, when you hit the submit button, it does initially do the data check and then move on to the simulation. But sometimes if you've got really big simulations that go on for hours, you might want to do a data check first before hitting submit. In our case, we're just going to go ahead and hit the submit button. And you see, it says submitted over here in parentheses. And at the bottom of your window, you see Abacus talking about what it's doing at the moment. And now it says it's running. So it was submitted, it went through the input file processor, and then it successfully completed running a standard analysis. And you see here it says completed in parentheses.